Good afternoon. My name is Peter from BioCube. Today I would like to tell you about BioCube's Ultra Clean system, a system that will generate clean water from a polluted source. But first I would like to illustrate how clean the water coming from the BioCube Ultra Clean system is. Taking water from inside the treatment chamber, this is the quality of the water we are receiving. So this is the difference between the incoming water and the outgoing treated water. What the Ultra Clean system has done is that it has removed all particles from the dirty water to the clean water, and that includes all bacteria. To get the water into the cleaning chamber, we have a submersible pump that we put into the lake or the river or whatever water source the dirty water is coming from. The water is then pumped into the cleaning chamber and the internal control box automatically turns the inlet pump on and off to maintain a water level inside the cleaning chamber of between 1.4 and 1.5 meters to generate the necessary pressure to drive water through the membranes. When the clean water passes through the membrane, all the dirty particles removed will remain in the cleaning chamber. These we have to remove. This is done by a pump in the cleaning chamber, which three times a day automatically removes all the solids from the chamber. These are pumped back to the water source or perhaps to a soak away depending on your situation. I would also like to explain how the membranes remove particles from the water. The particles are removed by an ultrafiltration membrane mounted on a square panel. The ultrafiltration membrane has extremely small holes, 0.04 micron. And that means that all particles bigger than this will remain on the outside of the membrane. The membranes are built of a number of flat panel sheets like this one. They are mounted in a steel frame of stainless steel. We also need to keep the membranes free from clogging. The way we do this is that we have a blower that via diffusers under the membrane passes air up and this rising air works as a scrubber, meaning we will not have any solids settled on the membranes. Over time, particles will settle on the membrane despite the rising air. Some particles will settle in the small holes, meaning there, there's less area for the water to pass through. For this, you have to clean the membrane by adding spleach to the membrane, simply by pouring spleach, which is a household cleaning chemical, into the membrane. You fill up the membrane with spleach, let it remain there for three quarters of an hour, and that will then have removed all the particles that might have stuck in the holes. This cleaning you do three times a year, twice a year, depending on the incoming water, and that is the only cleaning required to run the system. Finally, a little about the mechanical maintenance of the system. The only mechanical maintenance of the system required is that inside the air blower, there's a small diaphragm. You would change this diaphragm every three years. And the water pump, we expect to have a mean service life of over eight years. So we expect that every eight years, you change the water pump. That is all the mechanical maintenance needed. And adding the bleach is all the running maintenance needed to operate the system. What operates the system? That is the built-in control box. All functions in the system are run automatically by the built-in control box. That means we automatically pump water in from the source and we automatically return particles out of the system that have been removed. And what is the energy consumption needed to do this? The energy consumption 
in running a system like this is less than 150 Watt. That means you can run the system for the same amount of energy as two light bulbs. And this you can do with solar panels. If you have solar panels that generate more than 150 Watt, then the system will run on solar power and there is no other expense in operating the system.